Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Glor. The snow is rising, the records and the temperature keep falling. Take a look at the expected lows overnight in the Northeast with the wind chill. Binghamton, New York, 30 below. Pittsfield, Massachusetts, 36 below. Berlin, New Hampshire, 39 below zero. In Norwood, Mass, the snow Kim Taylor is trying to remove is as tall as she is. In Boston, this homeowner aimed a leaf blower outside an upstairs window trying to clear the snow off a rooftop. Why? Because this can happen. On Garfield Street in Quincy, a house collapsed. We have two reports tonight, including the forecast. We begin with Jerika Duncan in Boston. Winds gusting up to 60 miles per hour whipped up the additional 16 inches of snow Boston received Sunday, creating whiteout conditions. More than 600 plows throughout the city are doing the heavy lifting and moving. Snow melters aren't getting any breaks. Boston Mayor Marty Walsh is at a loss for words. I know that as I was walking out of my house today, I, I just didn't know what to say. People are frustrated, people just want this to end. I think we all want the spring to come. Since Saturday, nearly 400 vehicles have been ticketed, more than 200 towed. Right now, cars are not allowed to park downtown. Two-way streets have been changed to one way, and the city's transit system is out of service. Businesses have lost major business, the restaurants and locals, business retailers, but also the bigger ones. Um, you know, it's been a tough month for everybody. What do you think the economic impact has been? Oh, I think it's going to be big. Uh, I'm not sure I can't put it all for you right now. At the Quincy Market, tourists were the only ones there. 26-year-old Yen Chen Shi is visiting Boston with a group from China. It's amazing for me because I've never seen this heavy snow before. I'm from the south part of China, so it's actually great. But unfortunately, all the shops are closed. <laughs> Brandy Andrews has lived here over 10 years. She considers herself lucky. I love the snow because I live in an apartment. Just wake up and somebody else has shoveled for me. I don't have to drive anywhere. Is it what you expected? Yes. Everything I expected and more. <laughs> The city's homeless shelters are at overflow capacity. Tonight, Jeff, I'm told more than 600 people are seeking safety in those nearby shelters because of this dangerously cold weather. All right, Jerika Duncan, thank you.